Hey friends and welcome back to my channel Lotus Geek. This video is all about how you can download Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 7 or even Windows 11 and then how you can install it in your Windows PC. So without wasting time, let's go ahead and proceed. You need to head over to your browser and download a tool which is Hido. I'll share the link in the description of this video. Scroll down and click on the option download Windows ISO downloader. Save it in your desktop and the second tool is Rufus. Scroll down and choose the option portable version to download it in your system. Once both the tools are downloaded, open Windows ISO downloader. Here in this left pane you can see you can choose the type of windows you would like to download. Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10. I will go ahead and choose Windows 10. Now in this left area you can choose the option drop down and choose the version Windows 10 or even Windows 11 from this drop down menu. I will go ahead and download Windows 10 for you. Now click on the confirm button. All these downloads will be directly from the official Microsoft website. Choose the language and hit the confirm button. Depending upon the type of system you have, choose 32-bit or 64-bit download and save it in your system. Provide the location and click on the start download option to start downloading Windows 10 in your system. You can see the download is directly from the official Microsoft website. Once downloaded is completed, I will go ahead and cancel it as I have already downloaded Windows in my system. Now your second option is to insert a bootable pen drive. Now once you have attached bootable pen drive, run the tool Rufus. Double click to open it. Here you can see I have attached a 16 GB pen drive. In the second option you need to select the boot image which is you have just downloaded the ISO image of Windows 10. I will go ahead and select I will go ahead and select Windows 10 which we have just downloaded. Now in the partition scheme choose MBR or GPT depending upon the type of system you have. To check press Windows and R key and type here MS Info32 and hit the enter key. Here BIOS mode if you have legacy you need to choose partition scheme as MBR. But in BIOS mode if you have GPT or UEFI then you need to choose GPT over here. I have legacy BIOS so I will choose the MBR over here and then simply click on the start button to start creating bootable USB drive. Now once it is said ready, go ahead, close your Rufus and unplug your USB and plug it to the system or computer in which you would like to install your Windows 10. Once you inserted your pen drive, make sure you choose the first bootable device as your USB device so that the installation of Windows will start automatically. The shortcut key to choose boot menu is F2, F12 or delete key. I will share the complete details in the description of this video. So watch out and let's boot the newly created pen drive to the system in which I would like to install the Windows. Now after giving the first boot as your USB device, your screen would look like this. Choose the language and keyboard type and hit the next button to continue installing. Now click on the option install now. Choose the option I don't have a product key. Now choose the type of windows you would like to install in your system. I suggest you to go for windows 10 pro edition. Accept the terms and conditions. From here choose the second option which is custom install. Choose the drive where you would like to install windows. 
if you haven't create one you can create new by clicking on this option and hit the apply button option to provide the eject space for windows now select the drive and partition and click on the next button to continue installing windows into your system wait patiently and let it complete the workout for you Now there you go. Your Windows is almost installed. Simply select the region and then click on the next button to continue. Now choose the keyboard type and again hit the next button. Here you can skip this layout. If you have an internet connect to the internet else choose the option I don't have internet Now give the name to your newly created account give it a password or you can left it blank if you want it to set later on choose the type of settings you required and then click on the accept option to accept the terms and conditions you can let cortana to set up later that's all friends that's all you have to do in order to install windows 10 or windows 11 in your pc this is all about it friends if this video works out for you if you are new to this channel i request you to please click on the subscribe button and click on the bell notification icon to turn on the net notifications from my channel and keep watching lotus geek friends thank you so much thank you for watching